And now, to the millions and millions of listeners and viewers all across the world, Dollar. it's the That's Not Christian Podcast. Hey, let's <laughs> go. And this is good right here. Jay. How did you get started in this thing? Because I didn't, I didn't even know you worked with for Rapzilla at a time. Oh man, y'all want the story, right? I want, want the, the story, story, yeah. story. <laughs> origin story, right here. Yeah, origin so, story right here. so essentially, um, you know, I've always liked Christian hip hop, right? Gospel Gangsters is probably my oh, favorite wow. group. Wow. Um, of course, I like BBJ because so my dad is a choir director. So, of course, we heard Man, you going way of, back, bro. BBJ and gospel. <laughs> yeah. So I, I, I have to put that out there so people know that I'm not just here speaking. Right. You know, just nonsense. Like, right. no, I got into this because I loved it. But with my dad being a choir director, we heard a lot of BBJ because we had Mary Mary in the house and we had Diedrich Hatton in the house right. and different ones like that. And, you know, that's he was the one getting the gospel features. You know what I'm saying? So I heard them and I got my first uh, gospel gangsters cassette tape mm -hmm. <laughs> um, wow. winning a Bible wow. quiz. What's a cassette? Turn <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> winning a Bible quiz tournament. Um, and when I first heard that project, it scared the life out of me. Wow. Because they were just so gangster. Dude, I was like 12. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, and mind you, I was in a home that did not allow this type of music. Right. So to hear this was crazy, but something about it really drew me to it. Even though the first listen through, it scared the life out of me. I wanted to play it again right. and again and again. So anyways, fast forward to high school or whatever, because I couldn't find nobody that was dope enough. 06, listen to Lecrae, fell in love with Reach Records. Fast forward to 2014, me and my me and my brother, the one, the other, Chris, that's Chris, on, right? That's yeah, that's Chris. On, on the show. That's your me real brother. My, that's my blood brother, um, okay. and he also has a twin. Which, if y'all go and watch the uh, sports show, sports episode we did, mm -hmm. that's his twin. Got it. So, um, we used to always him and me, my brother, and my cousin, because it used to be three of us. We used to get around each other and all the time talk about CHH, just all. <laughs> The time. That's all we ever talked about. Wow. And my uh, brother's girlfriend at the time came up and she was like, yo, I'm working with this pastor. He's got an eye for the future. Y'all really could blow up if y'all did something like this. Y'all could be a track stars. I didn't know. Oh, let me back up. I didn't even know Rapzilla. I didn't know okay. who they were. Okay. 2014, wow. they offered an internship. And my brother said, bro, you should sign up for Rapzilla internship. I was like, Rapzilla, who is that? What right? is that? All I knew was reach. And he was Yo, like, no, back then they had that rock intro. They didn't even have like a hip hop. Right, Rapzilla. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. So my brother was like, yo, they looking for interns, blah, blah, blah. He was like, just submit. I'm like, nah, man, Rapzilla. Like, who is that, man? It's right. probably some people that don't know nothing about hip hop, don't know nothing about hip hop, you know, running the label or what, uh, running it. And he was like, nah, nah, get into it. He said, it's the biggest thing. Like, I always go in there. I'm like, word. All right. Because the way that I used to find music was literally going to Reach Records website. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, like, no, <laughs> no joke. So anyways, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna do it. I'll put it in and I'm going in. Right. Um, I probably know rappers that you don't know of. Like, I'm really going like <laughs> arrogant in this thing. So before I send the email off, my brother's like, bro, it's, it's like Rapzilla. Like, bro, I'm not tripping. They really know what they're talking about. Don't put that in there. Right. I'm like, all right, so I erase it, you know, and I'm like, you know, I know the big artists, Lecrae, all the way down to some of the smartest artists, which at this time, uh, Street Hymns had just released uh, his Keep It Concrete mixtape, which is a classic. Okay. And so I was like, you know, because I used to jump on New H2O, that's the other website, because mm -hmm. they were the ones really breaking or giving artists a platform. What about again. Holy Culture? Did you know about Holy Culture? I never, no, nope, no Holy Culture, no Jam the Hype, no Z180 Media, wow. none of that, like. Literally, Reach Records and New H2O was how I found my music. So I put it in. They already had an intern. He was like, we already filled the spot, but I like what you sent me. Philip Rude, I like what you sent me. We're going to go ahead and let you work as well. All they had us doing was posting their articles, which was fine. I, I learned how to code. I don't know how to do it anymore, mm. but I learned how to code for the internet site. Mm. And after two months, my internship was done. Philip called me. I was sitting in my apartment. The one that I was scared of my mama in, <laughs> he called me and he was like, yo, 
you know, you doing all right? I'm like, yeah. He said, hey, man, I just want to call you. You know, we don't need your services no more. Again, I'm an intern. They're not paying me. So yeah. literally, what is it hurting you to let me keep working, right? Yeah. I was hurt. I was down in the dumps. I probably went and drunk some because I, I really loved my job. Right. Wow. And so, That's dope. like I say, before all of that, all we did was talk about Christian hip hop. Well, as time passed, my brother's girlfriend was like, yo, I know y'all talk about Christian hip hop a lot. My pastor can make y'all big. We're like, what? Like, yeah, he got a vision, blah, blah, blah. So we go to this church. They got a whole AV room. Like, it's dope. And he uses an iPhone. <laughs> I, hey, look, I'm going to send y'all the clip so y'all can put it in here. Yeah, for real. Let's yeah, do that. Right. <laughs> we get it exclusive. Let's right. go. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to send y'all the clip because I got it up on Facebook. I'm going to send y'all the link and y'all can take it down off of YouTube. But um, so, you know, we're sitting and we're just talking about Jackie Hill and going to a Lecrae concert. And as we got to talking, you know, we realized, yo, this could really be something. He got connections. He knew like Jason. We didn't know nobody at this time, mm -hmm. but he knew Jason and, and uh, Jason and Fidel. That's who he knew. Okay. And he knew, I want to say my barber knew who Flame was. And I want to say he might have known as well. So he's like, yeah, I can get y'all an interview with Jason and Fidel is always around, blah, blah, blah. So we're like, all right, cool. We do it. But the issue was this man took forever to edit our stuff. We'll record. I'm talking a month later. Literally oh, one time he no. put out three episodes. Wow. Just tied them all together because he was that far behind. Mm. So me and my uh, me and my cousin went to the party. Wait, wait, shop. wait. So you're uploading on YouTube at this point or what? Yeah, yeah. I'm uploading at YouTube on this okay. point. Man, we getting 11 views. Hey. 11 views. <laughs> like, like it's. TNC, it's just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like it's just really. But it's not discouraging because we love what we're talking about. Right. 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 You're so winning. Because, you got 11 people clicked. Look, like, hey yeah. man, and I'll tell y'all about this later, but God put something in front of me, bro, that I, that I can share with y'all that really has helped me in, in these last few weeks, bro. But we'll talk about it off camera. But anyways, so yeah, we're getting 11 views. Oh man, it's really people, people coming, you know, two or three people after 11 views is common. Right. So we really, <laughs> you know, feeling like something, right? No right. marketing, not knowing how to tag videos, not knowing that your title needs to, none of that, right? So we doing all of that, and uh, but it's taking dude so long to upload them. And he was like, bro, I'm tired of waiting on this pastor. We just need to go get our own stuff. And I'm like, bro, you serious? He's like, yeah. I said, well, we can go to the pawn shop. Go to the pawn shop, buy a camera. It was history from there. We still struggled for three, four years. Mm -hmm. It wasn't until I did a reaction. Well, KB went ahead and allowed us to interview him. Oh, wow. Like, that was dope. This was, right. uh, I it. believe we... Yeah, you this was it. I believe we can win, KB. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So I, I I was calling Reach Records, the number on the site, calling the different management companies that they lured me to, and I finally got to his management company. He let us interview him in Dallas, um, and that one hit like two thousand views. I was like, oh, but the subscribers didn't come in. Right. Mm. It wasn't until I reacted to Triple's uh, Too Cold video. That's pretty recent if y'all think about it. Yeah. From the waiting room. When I reacted to that, the the subscribers came in by the droves and we haven't looked back since. We wanted up hitting 2,000 subscribers from that. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. But before that, our, our videos wasn't hitting. Like uh, we did a whole concert vlog with Andy Minio and that, you know, had a thousand views and that was it. Right. But I mean, people love the reactions. And then from that, I just built, we just built off of that. But honestly, it just came from people who love to talk Christian hip hop. And we figured that other people like to talk about it as well. So we got smart and put a camera in front of us and the rest is history. Right. Dope. dope stuff, man. That is dope. 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 Yeah, y'all heard that, man. That exclusive right there. Y'all heard? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to give you, man, y'all going to crack up, man. We didn't, man, we was dressing up like we didn't know how to dress. <laughs> <laughs> we was just, we was just happy to be that somebody was giving us an opportunity. And I'm not going to, you know, downplay that person, man. But every time we came over, <laughs> this is going to sound real bad. This is not Christian. But every time <laughs> we came over, man, you don't have to hit the mute or nothing. But every time we came over. All he wanted, he would have us over his house for an hour. All he wanted to do was Bible, you know, Bible study and, and really, cause he, he had a hidden agenda. He wanted us to join his church. Oh, I got you. <laughs> so Yo, that's every him, Christian. That's every Christian. Right. <laughs> but we told him, it was like, bro, we're not leaving the church. And I had issues because we were going to my grandfather's church and I was the drummer, but I had been kicked off the drums at the time. And I just really wanted to play. And he was like, you know, if you come to my church, you can play the drums, mm. but just something that didn't sit right with me. Yeah. And then he would tell us, y'all can't just come over to film. Y'all need to make sure that we're studying and in the work. And I'm like, no, we're 
That ain't what. No, we're right. not. We that's not what we're here that. for. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We're not you here for Sunday school, us? man. Right. <laughs> because at this time, I'm going to church three times a week anyways. Right. right. Not saying that, you know, you don't need more. I'm just saying that's not what we got with you for. Right. To be fair, we're only here because you're my, my brother's girlfriend goes to your church. Right. Mm. So Choke night yeah, of man. pastors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, how do you how do you handle uh, pushback, right, or comparisons, right? And, 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 and you know, when you hear things like that, like how how do you handle it? Because I know you, I've seen you handle it pretty well. Like I know there was a diss track that was made about you recently. Yeah, I was gonna ask that, <laughs> and ask that. Oh, yeah. you guys are just laughing about it, like ah. <laughs> well, because we know what we signed up for. We know who we watch, right? We watch a DJ Academics who's not afraid to call the police because he right. knows what he does, right? We right. watch a Charlemagne the God be, at, who handles himself. I don't know if y'all saw when uh, who was that Benny Siegel was really yeah. trying to get at him. Yeah, mm-hmm. and he didn't budge. No, right. even Onyx too. Yeah, Onyx and, too, and yeah. he didn't budge because he's like, "Why are you getting upset? I'm just asking a question." Mm-hmm. And but he but and he talks about when he got jumped on when they asked for a picture. Oh, yeah, he yeah. laughs. He was like, "No, I didn't stand there and fight. I ran. I'm not right. stupid." Right. <laughs> so seeing these different people like that and understanding the type of media that we do, we know that we're going to get the disc records. We know we're going to get people to say that we're not Christian. Plug. Um, hey. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the we C know. and D's. You know you're going to yeah. get the C and D's. Right. We know we're going to get the C and the C's. But it all comes with the territory. And this is the reason why we always put up the tweets or Instagram posts that we are talking about. Because you cannot come to us and say you didn't say what you said. Right. 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 Period. And- and one thing you said recently, you know, you were talking about how all the stuff that you guys are commenting on is public information. It's not private information. Period. It's not like a CHH artist told you something in confidence and, exactly. and said, yeah, don't mention it. This is all public stuff that's out there. You can go on Twitter, you go on wherever, YouTube, and you'll see it. It's all right. there. Yep. But we did that um, unconsciously. I mean, it's just uh, it's just God looking out for us. We did that unconsciously. And then two to three years down the road, we realized how crucial that that was. Yeah, because you got because they, yep. right, exactly. And we had artists hit us like, "Yo, I know I said that, but I didn't mean it like that. What I meant was do 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 do." And the support we've gotten is crazy. Most right. people are literally like, "Yo, I love what y'all doing. There's nobody in the space doing what y'all doing. Just keep at it." Like, I know people don't like the way y'all move, but honestly, y'all not hurt nobody. Exactly. And what we talk about on the on our site or on YouTube is no different than what y'all talk about in the group chat. Absolutely. Right. We just have right. a large. We have a twenty thousand. <laughs> member group chat that's right. it right, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> have you ever been out like so i'm pretty sure you probably go to a lot of chh events or like has there anyone been in person that pulled up and been <laughs> like to pull up yo nah, man. Before, let's before, go with the pull your coat like yo what's up with them uh comments you made nah, <laughs> nah, but he, I'll before jay answers that he, he he lives in a two-way state man Oh. Right, exactly. And that's what I was going to go. That's exactly what I was going to go to. We understand the consequence. We understand what comes with our job. But if it gets to that, we live in a perfect state. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but we don't think that it's ever going to get to that. We understand that there are some real gangsters in this genre of music. But this is the reason why we don't attack nobody's character. This right. is the reason why we only comment and give our opinions on tweets that they have put out to their 20,000 followers or million followers or whatever the case is. We just right. happen to put it on camera. Right. You know, we make sure to cover our bases that way. This is the reason why we don't cover death of family members. Right. You know what I'm saying? When Andy Minio, uh, when Andy Minio had that situation, we knew it would get a lot of clicks. But we didn't put it up purposely because we that's something that you should be respecting. Right. You know right. What I'm saying? When Dayton had his whole situation with, you know, his wife, his, his, you know, the first one, I didn't cover that. I covered the album because right. it gave hope about that. But I right. didn't cover that because that was just a little bit too. too There's certain things you don't touch. Right. Exactly. So we know how we move. Yes, we've had people get upset. Um, uh, John Gibbs was in our inbox and told us not to mention him among the guy that was, you know, um, in that molestation situation with the way brand. Um, but I only use them because I know that he, he sponsored them. I know that he was a part of some of the concerts that they went to. So it was just to kind of show people how big the way brand was. Right. That was right. it. Just you know context. what I'm saying? 
But, you know, he jumped in our inbox like, hey, don't mention this, blah, blah, blah. I didn't respond because I, I didn't think it needed a response. I did a job. It is what it is. Right. Do I ever think that somebody's really going to pull up? Yes. But I'll be ready. I don't I don't think it's that serious in CHH. You it's know what I'm not. I don't, yeah. As, especially for the type of stuff that, like you said, that you're talking about. You're just commenting on, on, and you know, on people's tweets, and you know, maybe music and stuff like stuff that. that. They say, right, right. It's not like you're out here, like I'm not making, I'm not slandering, right, right. I'm not, I'm not doing none of that, you know. And then you even think about it, like um, DJ Academics hasn't been pulled up on, right. And he talks about a lot of Yo, stuff. He 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 he, he talks. He, I remember when he was doing the the Chirac stuff. The Chirac, hey, yeah. they they With made the him folks. quit. Yeah. yeah, they made him quit that. Yeah, for real. Because yeah, that's he did. how I found out about him. Yep, that shot rack. Yeah, they man. Because that's real. That's realness. Right. Not saying we don't have it in CHH, but because we live by a different code, which is a Christian code. Right. Right. I believe when you say, "Well, it's it's not going to get that serious." I believe right. that. However, I would be a fool not to be prepared. Oh, absolutely. Abs yeah, absolutely. Anything can happen. Anybody could be yeah. like, "Yeah, I'm gonna throw it all out the window today." You know what I mean? Right. And <laughs> and to be fair, a lot of Christians believe in two way. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I'm not yeah. saying that it's going to get to that right. situation. I'm just saying, like these dudes are coming in events ready for right. whatever yeah. may happen. Right. Yep. So if if I talk grimy or if I talk the way I talked, then I wasn't prepared. I would be stupid. Right. Right. Mm. Right. Right. But it's so dope to hear you, man. You 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 have your information. You I mean, you're pulling out dates. Yeah, 2011 to. So you in tune. He got the tweets. You know what I mean? And so the artists out there appreciate this brother because, you know, he's a connoisseur of CHH. He wants to push the brand. He's pushing, you know, what CHH stands for, man. I appreciate it. You know, we we just the podcast. We not a CHH podcast per se, but we we are part of the culture as well. And we appreciate it. Smart. Y'all smart. Smart. Because when we started making that switch to covering mainstream, our fans came at us. They fine with it now. Right. Because they knew that we weren't going to stop. But my thing is, y'all listen to it too. So don't act. Y'all can get it all from one place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Facts. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Right. That's and I, I, like, I like that you sharing the platform now too. I, I see that, that, that you're, you're, um, you're putting videos and stuff like that from other artists and stuff like that, kind of yeah. show, showcasing them. And I think that I thought that was pretty dope too. You know what I mean? Because you're, you're kind of extending that. And even, um, I don't think I publicly said it, man, but I, I I thank you for giving us a shout out when the whole thing was going on with the season <laughs> this and everything, man. Because that you know we 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 just started our podcast. We barely we just celebrated our year anniversary. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, that's dope! I didn't yes, even know that. Yeah, like we just started. So 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 and, and we started the same way. It was all from a group chat. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, mm -hmm. we, we need to record <laughs> this because I know yeah. people. Have conversations you know what i'm saying other people want to want right. to have these conversations people want to chime in right right and so when you gave us a shout out man that was like that that was really dope for, for me i was like yo we made it you know what i'm saying <laughs> like <laughs> for now real. man yes. uh you know i'll rock with y'all y'all know you know we have the you know the group chat outside of this man yeah. um y'all so, y'all some good dudes man um the dialogue is always dope um and honestly i'm more honored for this like i love this type of stuff right. you know yeah. what i'm saying where I'm mm -hmm. not the one that's always just, you know, having this conversation where people actually want to hear what I got to say just because, you know, I'm genuine. So um, I appreciate being on here, man. That's dope, man. Love, I appreciate yeah. it. Heard. Yeah, no yeah. Well, that being said, we want to thank everybody for listening. We want to thank for Jay from the crew from coming out hey. and uh, being a part of this episode. Shout out to Chris. Uh, all his, yeah, and Chris, uh, who couldn't make it, but we'll try to get him on uh, the next time. Oh, he coming, because he actually likes y'all, man. He, he oh, we got to do it again That's then. Yeah, Yo, right. you hear what he said? He said he actually likes y'all. What that mean? Right, right. actually, right, <laughs> actually. Like, I kind of <laughs> like y'all, but he <laughs> like y'all. <like. laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, in my head, I'm like, dang, man, it came out wrong. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm just yeah. saying, like, he's nah, like, nah, nah, really nah, I'm messing with you, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yo. So, we, we were going to put Crew's uh, YouTube link in the description, but maybe now we're not because we're right. not sure if he actually likes us. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but just, uh, all jokes aside, every, all uh, his social, everything uh, would be in the links in the description. Oh. Um, check him out. And uh, don't forget, we got that uh, Watch Your Mouth Beloved shirts on the shop that that's not Christian.com. Make sure hey. you cop that. 
and uh, use promo code TNC um, and you'll get a nice little discount. So uh, thank you for listening. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next week. Yo, Jay, Peace. you got any, anything else you want to say before we, we bounce? Any you want to drop your, your your socials or anything? Anything you got coming out? Yeah, man. Um, I mean, uh, at the Cruise Hip Hop Corner. Uh, you can find us everywhere, man. Um, and just, you know, if you like dope content, listen to us. But listen to That's Not Christian first. Hey. <laughs> hey is that y'all rapping in the intro? No, nah, man. That's a, uh, a homebody used to go to my church. Y'all know Pastor Todd? Michael Todd? Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, That's him? No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> now, by the way, uh, Pastor Todd is about to release an album, by the way. Wow. Uh, wow. But, oh, no way. Exclusive. <laughs> yeah, but um, no. So we go to that church. That church is huge. 4,000 members. Um, yeah, yeah. A guy that went there with me, El Dewan, that I met years ago. I just knew Karep. And, you know, a lot of people wasn't giving them looks like that. So I wanted to be able to give them somewhere. And I paid for it. It was not a favor. Um, but I wanted to sew into his ministry because he edited the video. He wrote the raps. Oh, wow. He produced the record. Um, the only thing he didn't do was mix it. That was it. Wow. wow. So, um, yeah, I wanted to I wanted to pay and show that that way everybody that comes, they can see that. Oh, that was done by him. I can also get his services and to show that he can rap. Damn, that's dope. To be fair, I don't know the theme song fully. Well, <laughs> it's, fine. it's the crew. It is, it's man. It's dope. I, it's I know dope. the core. I, hey, I know the hook. I just don't know the verse. That's dope. That's also, dope. there's a full song. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it's it's just a small verse. You know, it's something like a two, and a two, and a two. <laughs> but, but yeah, you know, uh, what is it? All the glory to Asus. Because of him, we making moves. Right. Yeah. You know, we done found our groove. You listening to the crew. It's the crew. Yeah. Hey, he got a whole verse. Like no, yeah, we ain't like the mother dudes. Yeah, we ain't like the mother dudes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so he dope, dope with it, man. He's got a lot of music out right now. He's done a partnership uh, with Rapzilla recently where he dropped a whole project with Juice Bangers. Um, so dude dude is dope. El Dewine. That's, that's what's, what's up. up. Let's go. Matter of fact, Mike check this out. Literally on my phone just popped up. What's that? The Let crew. That. Oh. Ah, yeah. Oh. They just wow. dropped something while I'm on here. Look at that. <laughs> no, nah, man, them, them notifications is janky, man. I dropped <laughs> that was early. <laughs> that was early. <laughs> God bless y'all. Appreciate y'all, yeah, man. man. Yeah, thanks for listening, y'all.